Hey guys, this is Thayden again. Um, I'm following up, finally, it's been a while. I'm gonna continue um, with the video series of uh, reviewing and showing people how to use um, a number of add-ons that I like to use. Um, I'm on my death night today, um, and this is a blood death night. Uh, not a very well geared one, but a tank nonetheless. Um, what I'm going to be talking about today is the Tidy Plates add-on, and specifically Threat Plates, which is a, an extension to Tidy Plates. Um, basically, the idea behind this add-on is it's really useful for pretty much all players, but especially for tanks. What it allows you to do is to look at the name plates above enemy targets, and you know how you press V and it brings up the name plates, right? Well, typically you just see, you know, red letters for hostile targets and, and that's about it. Well, what this add-on does is it allows you to see um, a little bit more information about that target other than just their name. I'm going to go over here to the target dummies really quickly and uh, show you a little bit of what I mean. Now, since these are neutral targets, what you're going to see is they're all showing up as yellow, right? Which, you know, is pretty typical. Um, however, if they were to be aggressive targets, those nameplates would be red, and if they were friendly, they would be green. Um, some of the other things, though, that Tidy Plates gives you is as a tank, you're allowed to see uh, visually how much threat you have on a given target at any one time. Um, if you've got high threat, uh, the nameplates will be kind of a green color. If you don't have you know, you're starting to lose threat, it'll be yellow, or if you don't have any threat at all, it'll be bright red. Um, it'll also adjust the scale and the opacity um, for you as well. So let me go ahead and show you um, the settings for that. If you go slash tidy plates and then open up the threat plates configuration and click on threat system, um, you, can you can have uh, settings for alpha, scale, textures, coloring, um, Mostly I'm going to focus on alpha and scale. Those are kind of the most important. Um, if you see here under the tanking, if you have low threat, have 100% alpha, medium threat, 75, and high threat, I have it set to 61. Um, so that means if you're doing your job correctly, they're going to start kind of fading out, and you're not going to really see the nameplates. They won't be taking up your whole screen. Uh, however, if you're losing threat on a target and you're failing as a tank, these are going to start lighting up for you so you know, okay, you need to go do something about that. Similarly, all of that's reversed if you're in a DPS role. If you don't have threat, you know, they pretty much disappear, but if you've got an ad chasing you, it's going to be in bright red, so you're very well aware of it. Similarly, on scale, if you don't have threat, they'll be very large, 125% of normal size. And if you have full threat, it'll be 80%. So um, the best way to kind of see this is just to see it in action. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up for the, uh, the Valentine's Day daily as a tank. And uh, hopefully I'll get a pretty quick queue. There we go. I wouldn't be able to do this if I were on a DPS or it would take 15 minutes. So let's get in here and... You'll see what I mean. In this particular instance, since it has like the three separate mobs, there's going to be a point uh, at which I do not have aggro, and I do have aggro on multiple targets. So it'll be a little bit easier to see what I'm talking about here. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and get this started. See those neutral mobs back there have the yellow nameplates. Alright, here we go. You saw it started off red there because I did not have threat right next to him. Now I'm green. Now this one's coming up next to me. Now I've got threat on both, which is good. Unfortunately, this guy over here just has a tendency to run around all over the place, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it, but... Oh, see, he just turned red, lost threat to that pet. I think they forgot to turn off their pet aggro. 
But anyway, as you see here, now that I'm actually holding threat, mostly, and doing my job correctly, the nameplates start to kind of disappear and get a little bit smaller. So, quick and painless, but if I didn't have any nameplates up at all, it would be a lot harder to know, you know, whether or not I have threat on any of those targets. So, um, you know, specifically if you're going to be raiding in our guild or any guild for that matter, I would highly, highly recommend picking up that add-on. It's going to make your life a lot easier in the long run. Um, so that's about it. If you have any questions, uh, send me a whisper in-game and I can uh, get you some more information. All right. Thanks, guys.